Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Dark Watch episode 10. So, out far in this case anyway. Um, so I'm actually... So I'm actually having to redo, unfortunately, the uh... Or I'm not, I'm unfortunately having to redo the part here because... Um, I accidentally forgot to turn on the capture recording software. On my capture card, so now I'm having to go back over and do this again. So that's why my stats look different. If, or, if, if they're looking different, then that might be why and why they're looking a little bit off. But not a big deal, though. That's my own fault, not the capture cards. So anyway, we gotta do more Martawa stuff here. Try and find, yeah, try and find the dead guys, or possibly missing guys from the Dark Launch here. See where they're at. So the good thing about this is I do I do know pretty much I do pretty much know how the rest of the mission is supposed to go beforehand. I didn't really know I haven't played the game in a couple years, so but now now I know now I know where I'm going with this. So we got the shock here, kinda almost looks like the shock from Resident Evil 4. It's kinda weird. Uh oh, another infected victim. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the good. Why not? Uh, that's right, Jericho. Suck the poison out. Be good. Be a good vampire. And we got silver bullet. Huh. Anyway, though, so we got a bunch more zombies trying to get in here. Have to be careful since I have the. Uh, and nothing in that room, okay. Um, not to be careful though because, you know, I have this and I have a rail rocket, which means that I can pull myself up really easily. And I don't want to do that. So melee attack, melee attack will work good. Got all kinds of skeletons trying to jump up and attack me though. Yeah, I remember, actually I think we have another tainted victim up here. Um, so I guess, I guess we'll go ahead and try and do evil or probably good for this one. No, do you evil, why not? I don't know, just trying to go for a neutron ding. I don't know if a neutron ding does exist in this game, but I guess we can go for that. Careful. Something's coming. These creepy looking dudes, got these weird cowboy hats, or I don't even know what you're calling them. Got shotguns, they look like something straight out of a horror game. Yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember actually me and my friends would play this game a lot growing up. It has co-op. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. God oh, damn it. Anyway, so I remember me and my friends would play this game a lot growing up. Um, Sor and Josh. And Josh might be watching this video, I doubt it though. Sor isn't, I'm almost positive of that. But um, yeah, I remember, I remember we'd, we'd all play this game quite a bit. Because Josh had it growing up. And I wanted it. So... The unfortunate thing, oh crap, I just jumped down further away, or back to the beginning of the area. Um, anyway though, so I remember trying to find a game at GameStop that was not easy. Uh, for some reason it's just not a game that's very common out in the middle of the wild, I guess you could call it. Basically just at Goodwills or game stores or anything like that, it's not a common game. Um, which is actually pretty similar to the game we're gonna be hopefully doing a let's play on after this, which is The Suffering. It's the same kind of idea, it's uh... For some reason, not very common. I just don't. I wouldn't say it's an expensive game. I just don't see it around very much, which is weird. Anyway, see this cutscene. Skip it. Don't need to see it again. Yeah, don't need to see that a second time. Actually, more like third time by this point. But yeah, this game has co-op, and uh, me and my friends are playing co-op with it. And Thor and Josh were especially obsessed with it because they they would play, they'd play, and they beat the game like two or three times in one day. Um, and I know it sounds outrageous, but this game is only like a couple hours long, which contrary to my Let's Play showing. But um, yeah, it, it's it's honestly it's honestly kind of a short game, so we'll have to do we'll have to go ahead and play there and beat that. I'm trying to help them. I'm trying, trying my best here. But oh well. But yeah, so. I remember I actually played this game not too long ago at Josh's house. We were doing a deathmatch and I was pretty rusty at it, but, you know, so it's a fun game. I'm trying to survive, look, I'm almost dead. Got 
Gotta go back up the stairs, go back down. Gotta try and save my rare walking ammo though. They're really good for no marks of evil. It's the easiest way to take out those things. Oh wait, did I forget that tainted victim? I did. That's right, I died. Good. Did refill my house though. I think we're actually coming up near the end of this segment, or not segment, but the end of this um, level chunk. It's got a bunch of bunch of these weird hat wearing dudes, and of course spillings. Yep, market people. That was weird. I don't know if it showed up on the capture card of my audio count for a second. It was weird. Anyway though, pull up the pull up the giant tree evil. Yep, I ate them too. They cause nothing but trouble. Anyway, next segment. Alright, so now we got to go ahead loading the screen and the last chunk of the level in the last little segment. Which I think is going to be kind of a defense looking thing, or defense style, or defense style mission. I don't know. Let's see, we got all these guys here. I think these are guys that we were talking about at the very beginning of the mission. The lost crew that just disappeared. Anyway though, I'm going to try and keep the crossbow because the thing is, is that I don't really need... I mean, range rifle and a shotgun are both nice, but I don't really need them. Besides, you get to use a sniper rifle and shotgun all the time. How often do you get to use a, you know, explosive crossbow and thing? Crossbow shoots explosive bolts. Or explosive arrows. So again, just gonna be careful not to blow myself up though. So just gotta get through this giant wall, or a giant building. It looks like a giant wall. And on the other side, I think we will find Tala. If I'm, if I remember incorrectly, anyway. So yeah, shotgun. Shotgun would be really nice, but again, I don't really want it compared to the... compared to everything else. Or compared to my crossbow. Of course I'd make it on the protagonist. Why, what do you expect? You, you're right by an explosive crossbow. Or crossbow, sorry. You're, you can't talk to it. You're right near an explosive crossbow. Bro. I didn't do anything. You should have seen the explosive arrow. I actually would call it a bolt. I think that's what it is. Yep, you're right about that. Sniper! Get him cross. Well, that sniper, I can get that. My crossbow will help with that. I can't believe we didn't kill him. Alright, that'll be enough. Anyway, now we gotta go from back and I guess we'll try and find a range rifle, like that one there. The range rifle, range rifle, I mean, could get a shotgun, but I don't know. Uh, range rifle will be fun. Nice, nice. What are you, what are you talking about? Nice what? Yeah, range rifle will be fun. Move. Move out of my way, thank you. Standing there right in the middle of the doorway. I've 
Yeah, of course you do. Again, I don't know what you're talking about. What's nice? I'm trying to blow these guys up without blowing myself up. There we go. Uh, well, Kamikaze. There's Sniper. Lazarus has a mark in there. That's the It's like there. Oh, he does? Get a move on. Yeah. Worshipping it? Yeah, I like a cultist. What do you expect from a zombie, though? We should probably take the shotgun. I think that'll work a bit better than the range rifle in this case. I mean, we're in close proximity kind of stuff, so... There is another range rifle in there, but I don't want that. As we destroy some old alcoholic bottles. Or beer bottles, I don't know what, I don't know what you call them. Whiskey, would that be what they had back then? Anyway, we should probably not use a rocket launcher in here because we will probably get blown up easily. They're all gone, Chris. We did it. Yeah, you know, more shotgun ammo. Yep. I guess so. Oh, is that the end of the mission? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought that I thought that we just go ahead and you know, have another thing to do. Another little challenge or not challenge a horde to fight, but oh well. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode, episode E11, where I guess we will get a chance to explore the Citadel and hopefully get a new mission. Thanks for watching.